Uh, I have also really missed this tiny little short wheeled Land Rovers because they just get in everywhere. It's fantastic for the job that we do. I do see a lion already. Hello lion. Hello sticks. Just, <gasps> hello cubby. All right, just gonna go very, very slowly here as they are here. Oh, okay, tough one. Senzo, I think this could probably be the best spot for you for now, for everyone to have a look at what seems to be one, two, three, four, five cubs and one adult lioness. They must have been so close to where we were driving and we just missed them by an inch when we went off-roading earlier. Hello beautiful lions. Good to see some of you grooming and moving and doing stuff. I wonder where the rest of them are, because the sticks, if I'm not mistaken, it's four females. Hmm. Three females. I always get confused. You see, I haven't been here for a while and now I need to remember all of them, which is wonderful. Like, it's the best study that I could potentially do. Oh, there's another head at the back that I hadn't seen earlier. Well, it's very nice to see you guys. I wonder where the other females are. I'm sure they're somewhere around here. Just perhaps a little bit more towards the back. <gasps> Hello. Ooh, stretchy, stretchy. Somebody's getting ready. Now, they do appear to have some mange, which is um, a type of mite that goes into their skin and just pr um, makes them have like all these calves and lose, and lose hair and so on. But I was actually expecting it to be a lot worse than what I'm seeing. So maybe this is not the individual that's the worst, but the fact that they are a lot bigger, it could be better for them just to be able to survive. And the fact that also combined that uh, the, the rainy season is not too far from here. So once it starts raining, it's almost like they get a very good bath. And once they get a very good bath, then that also helps them all together. And um, for everyone that's just joining the channel or that is new, so it's not a deadly, in most cases, unless the infection gets very bad, it's not often a deadly um, situation for the lions, although we've had cubs in this particular pride dye of mange last year. But uh, it is a natural thing that occurs in this particular area, and this is the reason why the reserve chooses not to treat them or not to intervene. Also, I think from an ethical perspective, might just be I don't know I don't know if ethical is the right word though but just to be able to treat them very likely all of them would have to be sedated and put under anesthesia just to be able to be treated so I don't know if that would actually cause a little bit more stress to them so I am hoping I'm sending all my positive vibes that they're going to be doing a little bit better I actually don't think that they look all that bad obviously they could look a little bit healthier but I think there is quite a bit of hope I think this female has just moved off to the back where potentially the other females are. So I just want to try and see if I can squeeze through here. What is this? Oh, it's a stump. Let's try not to get a flat tire. Hello pretty lion cubs. They are looking very big from the last time I saw you guys. You were still balls of fluff. And now you're becoming little lions. Just like little leopard. Alrighty. Kate, you said that you didn't realize that the sticks had so many cubs that you thought they only had three. Well, I think it's because they their last litter was three, so the smaller ones were three, so I think those ones were the ones that maybe you thought were in, but I, they had previous cubs from previous litter that are still around, and then you can see just how much bigger they are in comparison to the other ones. Hello, little lion cub. Now, the mother are somewhere behind. I think they've actually carried on walking if I'm not mistaken because I can't see them from here anymore. I do hope that you guys are going to be fine. Because you can see the different lesions, the scabs that it's forming in its skin and everywhere else. 
And unfortunately, the unfortunate thing about mites is that they're highly contagious. So all they have to do is rub against each other and like they'll give mites from one another, from the cubs to the mother, from the cubs, mothers to the cubs. And then it's also, this is, it's a type of parasites that's able to survive on its own out there in the bush. And it will go from one species of animal to another one. So it can jump from an impala to a lion, from a lion to a leopard, just by being roughly in the same area. Now... I'm pretty sure the rain we had the other day helped you guys and we are all hoping that you are going to be fine because you are a lot older than what I thought which is also good Donna can lions outgrow mange you ask um, a lot of them do so this is the thing I was actually reading a very interesting study about mange today because always curious about why it seems to affect this particular pride uh, or why does it affect certain animals why do some animals recuperate from it and it's it's funny because a lot of research has been put into it but nobody is actually 100% sure so it's a constant debate as to why mange affects certain creatures why it affects only certain individuals and not everybody else and so on so in a lot of the cases, if because it's a mite that starts attacking their immune system, if they are older, like these cubs are now, that they are much older than when, I think when we first saw the sticks with the mange, I think it was last year, um, that they were smaller cubs and under a lot more stress, I would say. Oh, you see this, there's one that's looking actually very stunning. So if they have a, enough of a response from their immune system towards uh, the mites, they can actually pretty much repel them and outgrow them and just have have it in lower quantities where it won't affect the general condition of the creature however if they are under a lot of stress and it's particularly visible I was reading in the study it's particularly visible in cubs because they are at the lower hierarchy if I can put it that way of the social structure so they'll have more stress in terms of like social relationships or they'll perhaps feed a little bit less and so on and so on so they can just fight it off themselves and often they do a lot of creatures often do it but if there's a certain set of conditions that will add on to their stress uh, be it dietary stress being social stress or any other particular um, type of stress that the animal might ex be experiencing then that becomes harmful to them and it can lead on to a whole different things hmm. all right where are you guys going seems like our Lions are heading onto the darkness and Jamie is also driving in the darkness. So I'm going to actually try and reposition, see if we can find them from a different point of view and hopefully have another look. And while we do that, let's see if we can find Jamie.